Hey guys, my name is Ben and welcome back to another bucket plugin tutorial. Today we're going to be doing about sort of advanced effects and how to make effects play in circular motions and directional effects are basically what we're going to be doing. I say all these things and I like move my hands around, it's pretty weird. Okay, so anyway, um, to, to play a certain, well, to play a, like a, a, a special effect, I'm going to make a method and I'm going to like make a public void and it's going to be called play circular effect, okay? Um, now, I want to play this effect at a location, so in its parameters we're going to take a location, uh, a type of effect, so effect, effect, and we're going to take a boolean, and we're going to call this V, okay, V stands for, for vertical, right, and we're going to import location from org.bucket.location and effect from org.bucket.effect. So, inside of our method, we're going to want to have a for loop, okay, so this method is going to play an effect all around a location in a circle. Uh, so it starts at a center point and it plays it in the direction of a circle. So it looks circular, okay? Now V for vertical, that is going to decide whether it goes vertically upwards as well or not. So does it just go in a circle or does it go circular and it goes upwards, okay? That's how we're deciding that. So we're gonna make a for loop. Now in this for loop, we're gonna take an integer called I that's gonna be say equal to zero. Um, we're gonna loop whilst i is less than or equal to 8. Now, we're going to increment i by, now this is where it gets a little bit more confusing. So, we're going to say i plus equals um, brackets brackets, now exclamation mark vertical, and brackets i equals 3, close brackets, question mark 2, colon 1. Okay, now I'll explain this in a second. So, we're looping through i. Now, this is going to loop every time, and it's going to add a number. Okay, it's going to add a number to um, i every time, and it's going to continue to do this whilst i is less than or equal to 8. So, it's going to add if vertical is true. So, is vertical true? Oh, sorry, it's going to say plus vertical, like inverted. So, is vertical false? So, if vertical is false and i equals 3, so if we want, if we, what's it saying is if we want it to go vertically and actually let me type the next line of code, then I'll explain this a bit more. So first we should say location uh, dot get world dot play effect at the location and we're going to play the effect at i. Right now i is the direction, okay? Now if i is equal to 4, then it goes vertically. So it's 1 to 8, or 0 to... 0 to 8 are the directions it can go in, 4 being vertical. Uh, I put vertical, I meant V. Uh, so anyway, oh, hit my mic. <laughs> so we're going to check if vertical is false. Okay, so if vertical is um, false and I is equal to 3, we want to add 2 to I because we want it to skip out number 4. We don't want it to do number 4. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to make a main method and explain this like practically. So public, public uh, static void main uh, string args. So here I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to say system out system dot out dot print line i. So I'm going to print out i. Um, so let's say say we didn't want it to go vertically. We didn't want it to go vertically at all. Um, so yeah, V was false. We didn't want it to go vertically. If we run this, you'll see that it goes 0, 1, 2, 3, 5. It skips out 4 because when I is equal to 3 and it doesn't want it to go vertically, we're adding 2 instead of 1. So it's saying, is this true? If it is, we're going to do 2. If it's not true, we're going to do false. Okay, so it's skipping out 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. However, if I change this to true, so we do want it to go vertically, we're going to say 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Because we're saying, do we want it to go vertically? Yes. So if vertical and i equals 3 question mark 2 doesn't matter because vertical is true, not false. It's going to ignore this. It's going to say, no, I don't want it to be 2 because this isn't true. This is false. This has turned out false, this little operation. We're going to add 1 instead. So we've got to 4. So that is that, is that for loop explained. So that is actually how you play a circular effect. So say we did it in a command, so on command, um, uh, and then, you know, when they did the command, so if if label equals uh, effect, uh, we'd say play circular effect at sender 
dot get or we need to cast this to a player first of all so player sender dot get um, get location so we're playing at that location the effect we could say effect dot smoke smoke works well you see actually there's lots of effects that we can use um, so mob spawner flames that's another one there's some which are like step sounds so they're just sounds um, clicks they're also sounds uh, but smoke that's that applies to the uh, the directional one and vertical we did want it to go vertical we just put true um, or we could obviously have false if we didn't want it to go vertically um, and then return false like so and that is actually how we do a more sort of fancy advanced kind of effect thing so if you have any questions make sure to email me at Ben Church. No, that's not my email. Ben at the BC Bros Bucket dot com. Email me with any questions, queries you have. I will answer them at that. If you have any other questions, comment below or send me a private message. Thanks for watching, guys. I shall see you next time.